Last night, I was just getting ready to do a FaceTime with our grandbaby. We just logged on. Our grandbaby was going to be having solid food for the first time, so I was getting ready to watch a video of that. And then this terrible lightning strike just happened. It, it was so loud. It was uh, an instantaneous flash of light and the loudest I've ever heard. I thought the building got hit. And here's a video of it. I'll show you where it slowed down uh, at one eighth speed, but it's crazy. You can see how bright it was. And this is actually facing the other direction because it was on the other side of the building. Well, I thought the lightning struck the building last night. Tyler thought the lightning struck his bus. It happened to have struck at the container, which is right between the two. That tree is destroyed. I'll release some more video of it. Well, here's the tree that got struck by lightning right next to the container where it's exploded. What's really interesting is our internet cable running right here is completely fried. Split in two and fried. Explains why I don't have internet. <laughs> There's another fried spot in the internet line. Oh, and it's broken there too. pieces of the tree everywhere. There's the internet cable. Fried again and again. <laughs> it runs right along that tree. <laughs> but yeah, there's pieces of the tree everywhere. Pretty sure this would have been a fatal spot to be standing. I mean, there's pieces of tree in the trees. I'm going to continue to get over there a little closer. Blackberry bushes don't make it very fun. Plus, it's still raining out here a little bit. Ooh. Here's more of the internet cable. Make a bat out of it like in the natural. <laughs> I don't really remember where the internet cable ran exactly through here. But uh, yeah, this tree exploded. <laughs> I wish I could find more of that cable. It goes down the hill to the pad. It obviously ran right next to this. Looks like it's disintegrated over here. Let me go back to the last place I saw it. Right there. Oh, there it is. A piece of it. That's not good. Yeah, so this is probably 100 feet from the shop. <laughs> About 50 feet from Tyler's bus. Bark and pieces of tree everywhere. I'll save this. I went to unplug the internet router and it was what the cable, ethernet cable was welded in there. I didn't want to unplug it. I don't know if you can see. It's all black and charred.
This is a different router. This one was actually 300 foot of Cat6 cable away from the other one, and it didn't want to unplug either, and it was all charred inside there, melted. Um, again, 300 feet of uh, cable running to this one from the other one, and it, so everything that was plugged in is fried. The whole wall in the shop had no power. This is the one that the router was plugged into. The There was a red light on this here that was lit up and it wouldn't reset, it wouldn't push or click or anything, you couldn't t hit the test button or the reset. It just had a red light and it wasn't working at all. Uh, and this is the outlet that the internet router itself was plugged into, the, the one from the ISP. Uh, the other outlets, that the other things that were that no longer work are fine and there was no issue with them, but this one here, it's messed up and it had a red light on it, it wouldn't work at all. Yeah. Every terminal on here has damaged, you can see smoke on it, or it's burned from the lightning strike. I don't know how that didn't pass back through to our solar inverter that was powering this. The ground fault circuit interrupt outlet that fried is run off of our solar. So I'm really lucky it didn't fry our inverters. Uh, it actually melted the wire between this and the next outlet downstream from it too, which was crazy. So I'm so glad that our inverters didn't get fried. I don't know, you know, they're still working great. So that's pretty impressive. Well, they got our router replaced and running. That's good. Basically everything that was plugged in with an ethernet cable anywhere on the property is completely fried. So routers, switches, uh, hotspots, uh, the one of our security camera, a lot of our security cameras are wireless. All those are fine and they record to cards. Um, but this one that recorded the DVR, the DVR blew. The monitor that was plugged into that DVR is blown. Um, I, again, I have no idea how our inverters didn't get fried. But basically anything that had an ethernet cable on it, the cable was welded into the back of it. Uh, they didn't want to unplug. I had to really yank them out and they were all charred. Uh, every single thing on the property that was plugged in. Here's some video from after the lightning strike last night. The rain had let up on this video, but right before that we had a torrential downpour and a lot of water damage on the property. I've never seen the driveway washed out so bad before. Culvert held out pretty good. A little bit of water ran down the middle of the driveway there, but it really washed out towards the edge, which we tried digging a trench just on the other side of it, but it's it's washing out on the inside of it. This concrete that we poured here has been all undermined now as it was heading towards the culvert on this side too. And then down at the bottom, don't even get me started down there, but the, the culvert did a good job, but it just made a new culvert five, 10 feet away from it where it really washed things out. So we got another truckload of gravel coming later today. We're gonna try and run the box blade up it now. But uh, yeah, that's probably close to three feet wide right there. And I mean, it washed out a good eight to 10 inches of, of depth right there. It's probably a foot deep down there at the bottom. And uh, there was more gravel built up on top here too that's just gone, so. This is the worst we've ever seen it, unfortunately. It was just a crazy rainstorm. There's the tree that got hit by lightning right there. 
It was just a crazy day, but uh, Tyler's getting ready to, we borrowed the tractor from the neighbor, our awesome neighbors, so he's gonna run that box blade. Oh, this will be interesting to see. Yeah, that's a lot of material that they got washed out. That's easily a foot deep of material that's removed from there. Maybe more. I'll show you some scale of how much is that's in the bottom of the hole and that brake can brake clean can is still another four inches below the where the driveway level used to be. Okay, good. Well, we got to work on getting the crown back on the driveway and then getting some actual kind of drainage along the side that's going to continue to carry that water along the sides to keep it from crossing over the driveway. Um, we had it doing really good and then we had a couple of rains where it started changing direction and then now it's lost. So we got to really get out there and start reshaping it again and, get, and controlling the water flow a little bit better. From a mile away, you can hear them play as they climb that hill with ease. But at the top of that mountain, there's a new life waiting for those who can make the run. If they can make it to the top, Scott will put them in the shop till their new life has begun. Buses come to run Bus Grease Mountain We're gonna get that big job done 